I'm here joined by senior running back Austin Whitsett. Every Friday night, you're inching closer and closer to ending your chapter of playing high school football. Does that give you a special type of motivation when you take the field? Yeah, yeah definitely. Like when, when we're in the locker room about to come out for the game, yes, yeah, you definitely think about it. You're thinking, oh man, you know, we've got so many, you know, we've got four of these left, you know, we've got three left, now it's two more home games left. So you definitely try to soak everything up. What do you think your biggest takeaway will be from playing high school football? I think just work ethic in all, you know, when you go to class all day and then you're coming back, you're kind of your last period, you're walking to practice, you're like, oh man, I got another practice, it's Monday, you got like four more. You know, that definitely prepares you for life because th those are definitely some tough days mentally just to get through them. Talk to me about your work ethic. You not only play football, but you play basketball and you run track. How important is work ethic in order to make it all work? Yeah, it's huge because when you're in one sport, you're kind of lacking on the other. So as soon as you get in that other sport, you got to pick it up and work hard as hard as you can. So I think work ethic is pretty much the key, the key in everything. Tell me where you were and what you were doing when you received your first offer. Oh, I was actually I was in church and I was thinking because I, I got a letter. It was a letter. So I was like, I'm thinking about it like, oh man, I gotta go open, I gotta go check that letter real quick. That was like a different one and I read it and I was like, oh, look. I was like, and then I asked my, my coach, I was like, this is an offer right here, right? And he's like, oh yeah, he's like, bingo. And I'm like, oh sweet. So yeah, it was, it was a good feeling. Let's go back to freshman year, Austin. Would you have ever thought that you would be in the position you are now with multiple offers to go play at the next level? Um, I mean, I hope so. You know, the goal always is, you know, get to college and play football in college, but you know, you never know. It's, 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 it's definitely a dream come true. This is what I've dreamed of my whole life. Even since I was a little guy in elementary school, you know, always watching. I've been coming to second mini games since I was in second grade being water boy. So it's definitely cool now being in that position. One of those offers was a preferred walk on to Stanford. Some people have called you the next Christian McCaffrey. What does something like that mean to you? Oh, that's awesome because I've been watching him before he was a big time guy. I remember in high school, uh, I'd watch his highlight tape and I'd always try to mimic after him. So it's definitely an honor to be called a Christian McCaffrey type. Yeah, it, it, it's awesome. I, I mean, he's my pretty much my idol, you know. Try to do everything like him. So it's, it's, yeah, I love that comparison, definitely. We wish you best of luck the rest of the season. We're going to toss it now down to San Diego where Christian Pedersen is with another top recruit. Christian, take it away.